Hello everybody and welcome back. It's been a while since I have uploaded a video. I was actually working on a project that took quite a while to finish but now I'm back and had some time to record so yeah. Anyways today I will show you how you can create custom tab bar and it can be of any style you want it's totally up to you. Today I'm going to show you two types that I made in my free time. One is the simple one and the other one is a bit of advanced. Now before we jump into the video, it would mean a lot to me if you press that like button and subscribe to my channel. That is the best possible way to support me. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I have already set up my project and I have uh, added a tab bar with three tabs. And for the middle one, I have uh, removed the item name. Now if we run the app, it will look something like this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a new surf file. If you want, you can also create a Coco Dutch class, name it whatever you like, and hit create. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and import UI kit and let's create our class called custom tab bar uh, vc and then let's uh, inherit ui tab bar controller and also let's confirm uh, ui tab bar controller delegate and now let's add our init method and inside we are going to say super dot init coder coder and after that we need our uh, view did load method so let's add that and then super dot view did load and then we are going to say self dot delegate equals self and then let's do self dot selected index is going to be one which is the middle one and now we will call a method setup middle button which we will create now let's copy that and paste it over here func and then function name is not going to return anything and then inside this let's say middle button equals ui button and then inside our frame we'll say cg rect for x we will say self dot view dot bounds dot width divided by two and for the y we need it to be a little bit to the top so we'll say minus 20 width is going to be 60 and also the height is going to be 60. now we are going to give it a background image and i have already uh, and i already have the image in my assets folder right here you can use whatever you want and after adding the image we are going to say middle button dot layer dot shadow offset shadow color equals ui color dot black dot cg color and then middle button dot layer dot shadow opacity equals 0 0.1 and then middle button dot layer dot shadow path sorry shadow offset is going to be cg size and the width and height is going to be four after that let's say self dot tab bar add sub view and we are going to pass in our middle button and then we also need a target so we will say middle button dot add target uh, the target is going to be self the action we will pass in the selector and it's going to be touch up inside and at the end we will do self.view.layout if needed now let's go ahead and create our uh, objective c function for the selector we will say menu button action and center is going to be ui button now let's copy and paste it inside our selector and inside our function let's say self dot selected index is equals to one which is the uh, middle button index now let's select our tab bar and give it a custom class that we just uh, defined 
and if we run the app you can see we have both the items and in the middle we have the home button but as you can see it is a bit to the right so let's fix that and now if we run the app you will see it is in the center great now let's go ahead and create a, a new file and this time let's select uh, Coco touch class and it's gonna be a subclass of uh, UI tab bar and let's name it tab bar VC and then let's create now inside our uh, class tab bar if you want to see the changes uh, inside your storyboard then you can add the add uh, IB designable and if you put the class uh, in your storyboard you can see all the changes uh, before running the app so but I don't want this so I'm uh, I'm going to delete that and let's go ahead and create a new variable called shape layer and then let's create a new method called uh, add shape and inside this let's create a variable shape layer equals ca shape layer and then shape layer dot path equals create path this is a method that we will create right now so func create path and it will return cg path okay and now let's create another function called draw and inside that we will uh, pass our method at shape and then we will say self dot unselected item tint color equals equals to uh, UI color dot white and then self dot tint color equals UI color dot named oh, sorry UI color named dark dash brown now inside our create path we will add three variable first is height which is equals to 15 and then another variable which is the uh, path which is going to be UI Bezier path and uh, center width which is going to be self dot frame width divided by 2 okay now we will say path dot move to and inside two you can either write dot zero or you can add a CG point X and Y is uh, in which you can put uh, X and Y uh, zero and then we will uh, return our path dot CG path And then after this we will add a quad curve now quad curve has two uh, parentheses uh, the first one is two in which we will add the x and y the x is going to be uh, for x we are, we are saying to take the entire width of the device and the y is going to be zero and for the control point we, we are basically telling uh, the UI to uh, create a curve from the center then we will add a line and inside that we will uh, add our CG point the X is going to be the same and the Y is going to be self dot frame dot height then we need to close uh, our shape so we will create another uh, uh, line and inside our X we will do zero and then we will say path dot close now let's go ahead and run the app uh, just to see how it looks uh, we cannot see our tab bar so let's go ahead and fix that in the add shape method we will add the styling of our tab bar like so
okay now let's run the app and we should see our tab bar great um, everything is working properly and we can also see a curve at the center so this is how you create a simple curve tab bar and now let's create a, a a bit advanced version so i'm going to use the same code but adjust and add a few paths in my create path method now i have already sorted out all the values for this and you guys can also play with the values to get different and better results So there you go, with a little bit of tweaking, you can create different styles of tab bar. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find it helpful. If so, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Take care and I will see you guys in the next one.